Hi, I'm Dave Wurzel and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is on the Spring Musical coming to Stag High School in Palos Hills. With me today, we're fortunate enough to have a few of the cast members and director. Uh, on my right, director Cheryl Molo, right? And, and further on my right is Raphael. Uh, and I'm going to let him say what parts they're playing. On my left, I've got Kelly and further left, Mimi. And uh, so the, mu the SpongeBob musical, it sounds like a fun play. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to turn you first. Uh, maybe how about your background as a director and you know teacher that area? Yes. Yeah, so I am an English teacher. I teach primarily sophomores and juniors at Sandberg, actually. Um, but in, for directing, I've directed over, been part of about 20 different shows in the past, from middle school through high school. So I'm really excited to do this here at say at Stag. No, that's, I was to say it's going to be exciting. So you you can teach at Sandberg, but you can still come here and work, and it, and it's a good experience and fortunate for you and for Stag, probably in this case. Uh, now, before we talk about this one, can you t talk a little bit about like how you chose this play and and also how things are going? I know you're very early in the process, though. Well, primarily, I wanted to have a show that was just fun. You know, coming out of the years that we've had, I wanted something that was lighthearted. I wanted something that everybody knew, um, something that people could relate to and just really have a really good time and bring a different experience. And there's nothing like Bikini Bottom for an experience, actually. So, um, so far it's been going great. Everybody has really dived in to the various roles. And that's the other great thing about it is that there's so many different parts for the kids to be able to um, work on and and experience so so far it's been a wonderful experience watching the kids do the different um, roles as they've seen on the cartoon shows I guess I would say I would imagine they're very familiar with the characters unlike not that they haven't heard of Phantom or Les Mis but that's those characters are completely different animal and how well do they know them? these characters they know mm -hmm. part of their growing up probably yes. and uh, but also I think you're right a lot of fun this is a very light-hearted all right, how about, uh, Rafael, you want to tell us what part you're playing? Sure. I play SpongeBob in the musical. And Kelly? I play Squidward. I play Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> and so I'm going to give them all a chance to demonstrate their voice in a second. But before, I'm going to let them get in character a little bit. Before we do that, uh, Rafael, can you talk, what, like, for you playing SpongeBob, what's it like playing that character? What challenges do you see in, in bringing that character alive? What I see, like, in playing Spongebob um, is basically, like, you're playing basically the happiest person in the entire world. Because that's basically Spongebob. He's always positive. He's always happy. Like, there's no such thing as, like, a bad day to him. And uh, as for, like, challenges for playing him, basically, as much as, like, I usually am happy a lot of times, being as happy as Spongebob is still, like, a challenge to try to keep on going for like hours <laughs> so you're you are a little bit in character can you give us a sample of his line like uh, uh, what's your voice gonna be is it your voice or have you uh, just said all right go ahead a little line jump out of bed mix up some breakfast for my favorite pet <laughs> snail <laughs> nice really nice good i want to hear the song now too that's good um kelly how about you and your character what was it like for you playing that role so Squidward is always the opposite of Spongebob. Um, he's always got these very exaggerated expressions. He's always in a bad mood. He's slouching. He's got this really hard voice that I've been working really hard on. And you are comparing it to like this cartoon and they're like professionals at like voice acting. And so just bringing that on stage and projecting his voice is, can be difficult, but I'm really excited. All right, do you want to give us a little sample of your squared word? Um, yeah. Um, it's the best day ever. <laughs> nice. I like a little bit of the vibrato, too. It was good. All right, Mimi, how about you? What role are you playing? So Sandy Cheeks is a squirrel from Texas, which is pretty strange to find in the ocean. But if you know the show, you'd know the whole story. Um, but she's like a hero. She tries to save the day a lot, but she's also really feeling out of place obviously she's in the ocean and she's a mammal like everyone gives her a hard time throughout the play but it's kind of funny here and there but she finds her way to um, warm up to everyone down there um, yeah so before you do the voice one quick question I think in the cartoon she wears a, a helmet don't she or so are you wearing a helmet and can you give us a sample of your voice 
Um, so I won't, I don't think I'll be wearing a helmet. Um, we haven't, I haven't really dove into my costume yet. We're still focusing on like getting the show down. Um, let's see, what kind of line can I do? Let's see. Boy, howdy. <laughs> I'll just, that was no, wait, <laughs> no, that was good. And we got a little bit of that Texas drawl slipping in there. Okay. Uh, how about, I'm going to turn away from the play for, or the music for just a second. And uh, we'll start, Raphael, do you do any other clubs or sports or activities at Stag? Uh, here in Stag, I am currently in this a cappella group called Business Casual. I just I usually just do band and choir, and I'm in drama club, and that's basically all I do for Stag. It sounds like you got song and music in, in your blood. Um, I like the name of that, the a cappella group. What a great name for it. Uh, Kelly, how about you? Yes, I'm also in the a cappella group Business Casual, and I'm also in choir. We're currently doing Little Women. I play Aunt March. Um, I also did cross country for a little bit. And that's about all. That's a, that's a lot. I, and you're able to juggle the two things at the same time, Little <laughs> Women and SpongeBob. Yes, yeah. Um, the directors are really good at scheduling conflicts, and it's very helpful. Right? Okay. All of them. Kelly, how about you? I'm also in Business Casual, and um, I'm also in Little Women. I'm playing Joe March, and that opens this week. So we've got a lot going on, and then we go right into SpongeBob. But that's what I love to do, so... Good luck. Boy, everybody's busy here. I'd kind of like to hear this acapella group. I don't know if I can put it. Maybe I'll, I'll, that'll be the follow-up one. All right. Um, and then, let's see, I've got, what, two seniors and a sophomore. So maybe if I can ask first, uh, well, let me go down this. Do you have a favorite subject in school? Um, There's really only one answer here, even though there might be others. I know. <laughs> uh, I might as well just go with um, math because it seems like more easier for me. Really? I was expecting English or music or, okay, good. Nice nice plot twist there. Kelly, how about you? I really enjoy chemistry. Chemistry? English is my favorite. And that was the winning answer. Thank you, Mimi. All right. No, those are all great subjects. Uh, let me ask, I guess, Raphael, first, you know, as a senior, do you have plans after high school yet? Do you know where you're headed or what you're doing? I do have plans for after, like, um, high school. I plan to go to Columbia College Chicago where I will study get a major for acting. All right, good luck. It's, uh, that's exciting. Uh, Mimi, how about you? I recently committed to the University of Illinois, so I will be heading down there and uh, studying English education. <laughs> Even better answer. Wonderful. No, that's great. Cool. Um, it's really down the way down the road for you. Do you think about it at all yet as a sophomore where you're headed? Um, yes. Um, I really don't know what I want to do yet, but I know I want to keep acting in my life. All right, good. I, and I love the honesty, but yeah, at least you have that part of it you know, so wherever that takes yeah. you, good. All right, uh, final two questions for everybody, Cheryl, you two included, all right. Um, favorite player musical, first, we'll do that one first, and then I'm going to ask you, you get the call, Broadway needs you for to, to play a role. And fortunately for you, it's the dream role you've wanted your entire life. But how about your favorite player musical? Uh, I had to pick a different one because my favorite was already what we're doing. So if I had to pick a different favorite, I would have to go with Hamilton. And the dream role I would want for it is um, Lafayette. Oh, okay. So you would want to be in it too, yeah. And then what a great musical. Kelly, what about you? I'd want to be in Newsies or Into the Woods. Um, I'd want to be Jack Kelly in Newsies, like the main character, or Jack in Into the Woods. Okay. My favorite musical is Les Mis, but uh, my dream role would be Fiona in Shrek the Musical. <laughs> Another fun one. All right. Thank you all for that. Um, Sherelle, you ready? You're on the spot now. Favorite player musical, and then if you get the call, what role would you play? So my favorite play um, is Lion King because I just love the production of Lion yeah. King. But if I got the call, I'd want to be Effie in Dreamgirls oh, okay. because it's just like a prominent, she's just a great character and the voice is amazing that I don't have, but I would pretend. So you're daring me to ask you, can you sing like that? Do you want to throw one out? No, I live vicariously through them. Okay. I, I'm amazed at their abilities, um, but no, nobody wants to see me on stage singing. <laughs> All right. Well, for all of you, uh, good luck. Good luck with uh, the SpongeBob musical. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, good luck with rehearsals and production, and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to see you down the road. All right. Thank you for being here this morning. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching Spotlight. Spotlight has been on the spring musical coming to Stag High School, uh, the SpongeBob musical. Thank you for watching.